In the midst of the Ukraine-Russia war, the EU has been opportunistically exploring ways to address the vulnerabilities in Europe. One of the major areas of focus for the EU has been the Balkans. But EU's move has set the Balkans on fire as a strong pro-Russia wave continues to sweep throughout the region. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host Kanika. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. And please install our Apple and Android mobile app. The link is given below in the description. Let's begin. EU has been putting up a lot of frantic effort to expand and it is not skipping a beat in the middle of this. However, the admission of North Macedonia and Albania is being hampered by the point of conflict between Bulgaria and North Macedonia. Bulgaria and North Macedonia are neighbours who have been at odds for a very long time. There is a debate on the number of the Bulgarian population in North Macedonia. As per the Macedonia's official census data, 3,504 persons or about 0.2% of the Bulgarian population lives in North Macedonia. Whereas Bulgaria has questioned the figure, pointing out that around 90,000 of North Macedonia's 2 million residents have acquired dual citizenship with Bulgaria during the past 20 years due to their family ties. According to Bulgaria, North Macedonia has allegedly been ignoring shared cultural and historical connections. One of the Bulgaria's main requests was the recognition of the Bulgarian minority as well as the acknowledgement that North Macedonia's language was derived from that of Bulgarian. Due to the entire situation, Bulgaria has decided to block North Macedonia's road to EU membership. It continued to block North Macedonia during the General Affairs Council meeting in Luxembourg in June last year. Also, North Macedonia was initially barred in 2020 from joining EU. In fact, because of all the fact that Albania's EU negotiations are bundled together with North Macedonia's, Albania's own EU integration process has suffered collateral harm. French President Emmanuel Macron has proposed a compromise for this background. The Bulgarian requests are incorporated into the French proposals framework for negotiations between North Macedonia and the EU. The French plan was approved by the parliament in Sofia after Ruman Radev, the Bulgarian president, determined that it satisfies the majority of his country's request of Skopje. North Macedonia's foreign minister Bujar Osmani went a step further and said it was a good proposal. However, majority of the people in North Macedonia have not reacted favourably to this plan. The majority of North Macedonian citizens consider the idea to be a betrayal to their sense of national identity because it would also impose constitutional amendments and other requirements. The North Macedonian police attempted to de-escalate the situation. The protesters took to the streets where there was firing and exchange of rocks. The idea, according to protesters, vulgarizes the nation and disregards the history and language of Macedonia. Additionally, the VMRO DPMNE, the primary centre-right opposition party, disagrees, claiming that the agreement promotes Bulgarian demands that call into question the history, language, identity, culture and legacy of North Macedonia. Though the main ruling party of North Macedonia, that is Social Democrats, meanwhile blamed the opposition for the incident, saying they wish to destabilize the country, but the reality is that it's the EU proposal that has forced the nation on fire. You see, this indicates unequivocally that residents of North Macedonia do not plan to compromise their own identity in order to gain EU membership. The people of North Macedonia feel outraged to the fact that their government is acting anti-Russia and there is pro-Russia wave in the making. Additionally, this gives Russia the chance to expand its influence in these Balkan countries. Vladimir Putin, however, has already relaunched his push for global hegemony, especially after the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Russia would use these demonstrations to establish itself more and more in the region, seeking to impede the area's integration into the European Union and damage the reputation of Western-style democracy in Southeast Europe. 